Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more Grim Fandango. I could go into the kitchen, but there's absolutely no point whatsoever. Not right now. Welcome back to Grim Fandango. We're having fun. All right, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's right. I got the book. I got it. The bookity. A book to help people restructure their working some things. That's not that. It's not it. That's it. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh. Better not show that to Glottis. Give it to him. I gotta remember to walk close to people before using stuff on him, because he'll walk slow if I don't run over there. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. Yeah. I don't like that broken guy at all. That does it. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Oh, dear. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. We do? No, we don't. We don't know any lawyers. That owe us favors, anyway. We know one lawyer, but he's kind of a jerk. Walk to it first, then look at it. I want to go through here. It says I can go through, but it's not letting me. Somebody really liked this cat. Beloved Sandspoof, this Sans regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years Yay! until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season Aww. when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. All right, what is it with games and horrible things happening to cats? I am no, I mean, I, 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 I. Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. Oh, I gotta come back here. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Yes, giant cat litter. And we're gonna have to root around in it. All right. I could have sworn I could go this way. Oh well. Guess I was wrong. Okay, this way is. The hey. Hey, what? Ten minutes to follow. Looks like a great night for cat races. Alright, this way is the VIP lounge, but I can't get in there yet. Hello! 
Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. I think somebody likes us. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Everybody's bored. dead. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We were on a tight ship here, you know. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I just want to borrow it for a secret project. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Okay. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. But, uh... I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Alrighty. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. I got a metal can opener, I got a metal little Sir, printing device. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. The scythe. And alcohol with gold flakes in it. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Well. Marillo de Oro, a very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Eh, maybe just a sip. Ah. There we go. That should solve our little... Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Despite not having a stomach, somehow he can drink the metal wine. You sure you're not packing anything else? Metal alcohol. And... Oh, well. Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now Funny, there was the a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet I little puppy. I had a dog once. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. Could I hold that metal detector for a second? Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Oh, well.
Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Harsh. Getting ready for the next race. Harsh much, lady? All right, now we go back in here. I should have done that other thing first so we didn't have to well, repeat ourselves. Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. All right. Fortunately, the metal detector was still on. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. Yes. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. Yeah, I, like I know. To keep but it how next do I? Where my heart used to be. There we go. Aha. Little stinky, but it could be worse. Exactly. We've got the metal detector. Let us head out. Off on more adventure. And there is a fly in my house in the dead of winter. I don't know how it got here, but it's driving me nuts. Oh well. Oh come on, you can't look at the blimp from where you're standing? Hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. Well, they do have helium blimps. What a freaky statue. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. I don't need to go to the police station just yet. Let's go in here. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Alrighty. What a sad story. These stews sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Boomy, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in Elmaro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubakava. Interesting. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. You appear to be using a fork. So... Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. Old I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Where would you get a heart Sorry. in the land of skeletons? Old coroner joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. 
But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build. And eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. Poor guy. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Let's help him out. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. Achievement! You never know what this will turn up. An engraved ring. A belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, don't let me bother you. All right, I've exhausted all the... Always time. nice to have visitors. All right, I've exhausted the... communications possibilities for the moment. club. I do want to go back there for a reason. I have a reason I want to go back to my club. Gotta talk to Chow Chilla Charlie. The little Weasley guy from the bar who we took the print machine, the big betting slip printing ticket from. Evening, Lupe. Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang, I have a whole new system for messages. I yes, let me. Here. No, no, wait. Ah, oh, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Probably, what's his name? The lawyer. Maximillo's lawyer. This isn't where I need to be. This is where I need to be. Maybe I can sit down before the croupier starts talking. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you, you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Thank you. All right. Yes, I got out before he said a word. That guy is really annoying. I believe I've expressed that I want to smack him. It's the VIP pass for the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. Let's do that. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my 
problem. Gladys? Compadre? Oh, man, looks like we made a mistake. We gave a gambling addict a, pack, a pass to the VIP lounge at a gambling den. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Please, if you did, like, comment, or subscribe. Or you don't have to. I'm not the boss of you.